when the narcissist is aware that you know they are a narcissist, what happens? How do they act? And what happens in the relationship? So let's talk about that. My name is Lise Colucci, and let's just get started with that topic. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. What are they going to do? What do they always do? They're going to gaslight you. They always gaslight you. They're going to try and convince you that you're crazy. You're nuts for even thinking this. You are the one, you're the one with the problem. You're the one doing the things that they are saying you're doing. Well, you're crazy. You're seeing what isn't happening. That isn't actually happening. You're just too sensitive. You're seeing it a certain way. You always see things that way. It seems like you always have a lot of friends who you think are toxic, don't you? You see, they're going to try and convince you through gaslighting that that's not what they're doing. They're going to project. Okay. Big time. They're going to project. They're going to even so much as call you a narcissist. They are going to project every behavior that they're doing, all of the toxic things that they're doing. They're going to say you're doing it. They're going to say it before they do it. So they're going to, you know, project things ahead of time so that the narrative is already laid down that you're the one who does those things. And then when they do them, it's like they kind of slip in and do them and feel like they're getting away with it. They are going to bait you into arguing with them about everything. They're going to set up arguments over the smallest, stupidest things. They're going to set up arguments over big things. They're going to bait you into it. They're going to get you to engage through the pushing and the ridiculous things they say, the pretending that they know what they don't know what's going on, the getting off topic when you're having conversations with them. They're going to bait you to react. They're going to get you to get reactive, to get argumentative, to even get infuriated. And once you do, then they can point the finger back at you because they're going to play the victim or they're going to play calm and cool. And they will point the finger at you as to how toxic you are in relationships and how crazy you're acting, how angry you are how they always are the one that people are coming after and saying these horrible things about and see how you are, see how you are always angry. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. Basically what they're doing there is they're leveling the playing field so that you're just as bad as they are. You aren't really. What you are is in reaction to them, but they're trying to point out that, see, well, you yell all the time. So what if I yelled right now? You yell all the time. At least I don't yell. You know, I may call you a bunch of names and stuff, but I'm not yelling. So, yeah, they might bully and yell. They might get more angry and more puffed up, right? More overt with the narcissism. Or they might shut down and get silent and play calm and cool, disinterested, detached, totally removed. So that you start then trying to pull things out of them, trying to re-engage with them. So they can they can either make it really hostile or they can make it really cold. So then they might start, some of them, building up their importance, making it seem like you'll never find anyone as good of them. They may even say that. You'll never find anyone that treats you the way I do. You'll never find anyone who's as a, one I just heard of as as good looking as me. Never find anyone as hot as I am is what they said to someone. Okay, uh-huh. Um, you'll, never, you'll never find whatever that competes with their whatever, right? That's how they'll word it. Or they'll guilt trip with it after everything I've done for you, after, after how I've stood by you, after everything we've been through together, you're gonna do this. You're going to accuse me of being a narcissist after, do you even know me, right? Okay, they're going to devalue you because that's what they do in the cycle of their relationship. But this is going, could lead to a massive devaluation cycle because they cannot allow the truth of who they are to be seen by anyone because then it bursts the bubble of the delusion, right? And then they have to accept the fact that they don't take accountability, which is taking accountability, which will, they will never do. So yeah, they'll devalue you instead. They will devalue you because you see that they aren't perfect and you're saying, guess what, right? You, or maybe you're not saying it, but they know that you know that something's up with them. And so they devalue you to make you seem worse than them. They may even blackmail at this point. They may, they may threaten to or actually 
share intimate photos that you've shown them, personal photos that you've given to them. They may tell your secrets that you've said or the things you've had, they've held in confidence with you about other people or about situations in your life or whatever to the other people, to the people who were in those situations. They will try and turn others against you in this place, or they may threaten to just to keep you in line. Because remember, they're not who cares? Narcissist, not narcissist, right? It's that they know that it is toxic the way they act. They, when, once they hear that word and they know you know, they can't make excuses anymore and they know you're not making excuses for them anymore. So another, another way to level it out is to have people turned against you. And again, this will lead to the next thing, which is the smear campaign will start. And that way they have people on their side that are backing them and you have no one right? They're trying to make it so you're still beneath them and they can still control you. And then they may discard. They may not, but this could be a point of discard. They may set ultimatums. Take it or leave it. This is who I am, right? And they make you feel desperate in that time, in that space, right? Because it's it's with the threat of a discard. And even though we want them to go away, sometimes the threat of a discard is really painful and really scary and feels like they're winning. So those are some things that might happen if a narcissist knows that you know that they're a narcissist. If you have any questions, if you want to talk about this further, I mean, and also let me know what have you seen when you have let the narcissistic person know or when you maybe didn't let them know, but they figured out that you know, what have you seen? How, what kind of behaviors have you seen? How were you treated? I know for myself, what happened? He shut down he played nice for about a week and then he went stony cold after that so stony cold and then all of the things i said here kind of played out in different you know with different areas and denial they'll go into denial too sorry that's one more thing denial that they actually said things i didn't really care that much i didn't really you know like I didn't really need that. So it's like this ego protecting denial. All right. Let me know what you think, which if you've experienced this and we'll talk later, I'm Lise Colucci, one of the life coaches from Queen Being, and I'm here to help you with everything related to recovery from toxic relationships. If you need coaching, group coaching, or peer support, check out the information in the video description, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. See you next time.